Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 2 Vohal's Revenge, where you will notice we are back at the beginning. And that is because I was absolutely right in my assumption that there were items or an item that I needed before we got onto the shuttle and got transported on with the story, which I didn't realise was going to happen when I took a look at the shuttle. So we're back here again, <laughs> and we're going to have to go again from the start, um, which is, you know, part and parcel of this. I managed to soft lock myself on episode one, guys. That's a new record. Um, also, I've been told that um, the watch thing as well. Uh, okay, how does this work? Uh, H? Your horoscope for today. Keep up the good work. Today could bring the big promotion you think you deserve. Don't take any wooden buckazoids. Uh, okay, what's C? Oh. Roger Wilco, get in here on the double. You've got a mess to clean up in the shuttle which just returned. One of the passengers got space sick on the way down. Besides, oh, okay, he's, he's gone. <laughs> All right, I guess he cut it off. I don't know. So let's head inside. So we we know what we're doing. So it won't take us to. We actually got a score for that as well. So that's that's um score that we missed. So that that you know cool. Uh, right. So let's um change our suit. Stand by for decontamination. So we've been decontaminated. Uh, okay. Get suit. There we go, we're into that, and it was, I believe, these lockers that people said I should have looked at better. The lockers are all closed, there's nothing too interesting. Can we open the lockers? We can. Uh, now can we look in the lockers? You bravely peer into the locker to find a cubics rube puzzle and your athletic supporter. Uh, get puzzle. Okay. And get supporter. Okay, so let's look at the puzzle. The Cubics Rube puzzle, I like that, has made you look stupid more than usual. Okay, and then look at the supporter. This is your athletic supporter. Without close inspection, you notice it to be well used. Oh, God, it's like a jock strap thing. <laughs> oh, all right, okay, so anyway, let's save. We'll save over start and just call it um i don't know supporter there we go so we missed that so i think they're going to come in important later on or at least one of them is i've been told so it's about time you got in here roger wilco head for the shuttle bay on the double i am warning you you're on your last leg around here bud one more screw up in your history okay it then goes off uh can we talk to people uh sorry P talk people the chief's not happy with you, Roger Wilco, the man says. You better get over to the shuttle bay soon. By the way, you still owe me 20 buckazoids. You best cough it up soon. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to sort of um, skip most of the dialogue to get back to where we were, I guess. So I think that is literally all we missed. At least that's all I've been told that we missed. So let's head down. Not sure when those are going to come in handy. Knowing these games is probably the type of thing that it's going to come in handy right at the end of the game so uh anyway let's get on the ship we'll get abducted or whatever uh we'll just skip all this dialogue if we can yeah because we we know it's going to happen so we know he's going to reveal his plan by the way, I've been told that actually you do see his name on the um, Star Generator cartridge in the first game. Apparently it does name Sludge Vohor as the creator of the Star Generator, which is pretty cool, actually. I like it when they, they have little continuity things like that in games like this. It's pretty cool. So, back here. Uh, we're going to head off. Yeah, sorry if you guys you know, want to see me reading this stuff, but I read it in the first episode, so I'm not, I'm not going to read it all again and take up loads of time. And in a minute, we're going to run out of fuel. There we go. Whee! And crash. Good thing the guard broke your fall. Yes, indeed. Right, so, uh, look, shuttle. Blah, blah, blah. No service salvage. Wasn't there a button or something? See so a normal button. Okay, push button. There we go. That stops the beeping. Uh, I don't know if that's crucial at all. Um, let's call this 
beep stopped too, I guess. Uh, and then this guy had a key card, didn't he? Uh, search body. Yeah, there we go. Get key card. Okay, so we've got the key card. Nice. So we'll save again and call it uh, key card two. Now, uh, Fighting Kitchen has told me to step on the circular looking thing over here. So I'm going to do that, I guess. Is it, I guess it's this bit. Ah, you fall to the bottom of a concealed pit. You might have survived the fall had you not come in contact with the several 30 centimetre long spikes planted vertically along the bottom of the pit. Brilliant! <laughs> Thank you for that fighting kitchen. That's I'm really glad that I did that. If that's... <laughs> I'm really, really glad that I, that I stepped on that circular bit of ground there. Thank you for, for instructing me to do that. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, let's um, right. How do we how do we load? It's F seven, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, oh, was it this key card? Yeah, it was. Right. So we we're not going to step on that this time. We're going to avoid that thing. Um, can we look at these rocks at all? Look, rock. The rocks in this region are all grey and fairly rounded. There appears to be nothing of interest about them. Okay. Can we head this way? The foliage here is much too dense for you to pass through. Okay. So we're not going to go that way. If I remember right, there was nothing on the other body. Can we go this way? No, the foliage is still too dense. So anyway, we're back to where we were now, which is, you know, a good thing. So let's try and avoid that death trap down there. Can we head right? We can. Ooh, okay. What are these mushrooms? You're standing in a dark and damp portion of the forest. There are some very large mushroom-like growths here. Um, look, mushroom. Aside from their enormous size, they appear to be your average garden variety mushrooms. No, they're not. I was going to try and pick up a bit of the mushroom, but apparently not. <laughs> Holy jeez, boy, that mushroom thing sucked you clean up. You can't move a muscle nor see a speck of light. You begin feeling waves of tingling warmth and moisture. Suddenly, it's not so bad in here. Wow, check out the colours, dude. Your body and mind enjoy the short-lived buzz that is a side effect of the lethal poison that you now marinate in. You are oblivious to the end. Not a bad way to go, actually. But it sure is early in the game. I had high hopes for you. They said, who? Roger Wilco? Not a chance. That chump won't last 20 minutes. I said, no way. Roger Wilco isn't that lame. So anyway, don't make me look stupid too. Thanks for playing. You've been very entertaining. <laughs> God, I thought I could collect a bit of the the mushroom. Game, come on. What's that, like two deaths already in this episode? And most of it was recapping. So, all okay, right, so let's not go near the mushrooms again then. Um, can we go right here? The foliage is too dense. All right, we don't want to go too near to this mushroom. Okay. Right, we managed to avoid that. Foliage is too dense there as well. Okay, so do we go to the left? Maybe we go along here to the left? Uh, no. Okay. Where do we go? Do, do we go up here? No, it's too dense. That mushroom on the right looks a bit different to the others, but I, I don't want to... I don't want to risk walking into it. it. Makes me very nervous. So the foliage is too dense down here as well. Uh, okay. All right. Let's let's save over this and call it like mushrooms. And then I, I think I'm going to regret this, but let's go near this one. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I thought because it looked different it might do something else, but no. We're dead again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's only episode two and we've already managed to soft lock ourselves and die multiple times. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, all right, can we... Is there anything under here? 
There's some very large mushroom-like growths here. I mean, we don't want to go near those because they're going to kill us. Okay, we can't go that way. Just wondering where we can go here, really. Um, huh. I mean, it didn't let us go upwards, did it? Unless we can, like, sort of go in between these bushes, maybe? Like this way? No, it's too dense. Uh, okay. We can head back, unless there is another way we can go here. Ah, oh, there is! Okay, right. Look around. Suddenly, from somewhere to the east, you hear a twang, followed by a high-pitched shriek. Oh, God. Okay. You're in a strange-looking stand of woods. I get the feeling death is looming somewhere right here. Let's look at these trees. The trees around the perimeter of the area have a shiny, slick look. The two in the middle have a duller kind of sheen. Huh, okay. You hear something. It sounds not unlike the hovercraft you wrecked in. Oh, God. Does that mean that they're hunting us down? Look around. <laughs> I'm really nervous. This is another clearing in the otherwise heavily wooded area of the forest. There is a plateau near the back. Right, let's look at the plateau then. It is like the other areas, only raised a little. A mailbox sits up there. Mailbox? What the hell is that doing there? We need to be closer to look at the mailbox. Okay. Uh, right. Can we head round then? Whoa! Okay, what is that? You seem to have kicked one of these strange little spores. That honestly scared the crap out of me. No! No! Oh my god, it's just death everywhere! Your kit caused some spores to open and spray a fine powder into the air. As a result, you're paralysed from head to toe, unable to move a single muscle. Are, are we dead? We, we, do, we don't actually appear to be dead. Due to paralysis, you are only capable of displacing air. Breathe. Displace air. <laughs> Oh my god, like, what is, are we dead? Like, we're not, we're, do we, can we stay paralysed? Do we, ah, oh, jeez, what is going on? I mean, do, we, do we just literally stay here forever? <laughs> oh my god, help. Do you, okay, so we actually can't do anything. Um, What do we have in our items? Let's have a look. Order form. Dialect translator puzzle support a key card. So that's not going to help us out. Um, I, I think we might have to reload. <laughs> oh my god. This is like the worst. Well, I said that I'm enjoying it, but it's, it's not a good start, is it, guys? Let's be honest. It's not been a, a brilliant start to this one. That head appeared again. What is that thing? Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Right, so... Oh, there's that twang again. What is that? Everything is so scary. Right, okay, let's save here and call it, like, um... Like, spore screen or something. Spore screen, okay. So, note to self, do not walk near the blue plants, because that is a disaster waiting to happen. Okay, we can't go that way. Can we go up? Oh, oh god, what is this? No, 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 what is this? <laughs> this looks dangerous. You are in another clearing in the forest. This one seems to be occupied by a type of growth you are not familiar with. Jeez, okay, this, uh... Yep! Yep. Good. You've succeeded in establishing contact with one of this planet's life forms, and it looks like you'll get to examine it up and close and personal. The giant root-looking thing is giving you a guided tour of its digestive system. What you experience next is too horrible to describe. Let's just say that you die as a result. You are dead, trust me. It may please you to know that during the night, you didn't digest well. For a while, gastric distress made it extremely unpopular with the other root monsters.
Fantastic. I think we might be on a, a record. I mean, S. Thomas probably will know. Well, might not know, but if anyone knows, S. Thomas will know what the record is for the most deaths we've had in an episode. But th this has got to be up there as, well, as one of the worst we've had. Um, including in Space Quest 2. I mean, no. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> I thought I could maybe walk between the roots, like it was a bit of a maze or something, as long as you don't touch the roots, you're good, but... No. That doesn't seem to be the case, no. <laughs> okay, um... Let's try going this way, shall we? We'll go a different way. Uh, we can't walk between the trees. Okay, so... Let's try walking up here. Yeah, that, that seems good. We're doing well. We haven't died in the last 20 seconds. You hear something. Okay, it's the, it's the hovercraft sound again. Okay, can we can we go to the mailbox up here? Oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> Drats, Vohal's troops have tackled, have tracked you down and passed sentence for your escape. Tough luck, eh? Oh, so we're being hunted as well. We're being hunted by Vohal's goons as well. Fantastic. Okay, guys. I think that's where we're going to leave it for this episode because we're out of time. Oh, my God. This has been, I think, the most brutal one we've experienced so far. But it's a lot of fun and the deaths are so funny. But, oh, yeah, the game is really, really punishing me isn't it at the moment so as always guys thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcades games wayne nate and terminally nerdy for all the support i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed the video hit on that like button it really helps youtube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it and join our little point and click community that we're building here and i'll see you all next time <laughs>